Well, they say it's hard to get your arms around a blimp. I wouldn't know that, but Alan Gross does, and he says he would if he could. Gross is a blimp enthusiast with a New York apartment full of blimp stuff and visions of a, a blimp port right in his neighborhood. CNN's Jeannie Moss is in New York trying to make the most of it. 1964, it was a very good year for Alan Gross. And I just could not take myself away from the window. It was love at first sight. Not with a girl, but with a blimp. Here, that's looking out my window at the Goodyear blimp landing. Landing at Flushing Airport, look out the same window now, and you'll see the airport closed and overgrown. But Alan doesn't beat around the bush about his plan. So this would be a blimp port. A blimp port. But a blimp in this corner, a blimp in that corner, a blimp in this corner, and a blimp down in that corner. There are blimps in every corner of Alan's apartment. Blimp signs, blimp pins, blimp banks. You take the fin on top and you put your money in. Yes. It comes out the gondola, the gondola, and that's not all that used to come out the gondola. Modern blimps have airplane-style bathrooms, but not the older models. This one has like a relief tube in the back, but I wouldn't call it a bathroom. A relief tube? Yeah, it's like Tell a little... Tell me about that. It's like a funnel. <laughs> but don't bother to duck when an old blimp passes overhead. It dissipates before it even hits the ground. What hasn't dissipated is Alan's infatuation with blimps. From Noah's blimp to Uncle Wiggly's airship to... The stubborn dirigible. They can be stubborn at times. And so can Alan. He personally lobbied Mayor Rudy Giuliani at a town meeting two years ago. And you would be the mayor of the very first municipal blimp base ever in the world. It's never been done. <laughs> Though he has neighborhood support, Alan thinks city officials wish he would go fly a blimp. Actually, Alan started as a blimp rope grabber. Now he's formed a company to set up deals between advertisers and airship operators. I'd say that we're blimp matchmakers. At his proposed blimp port, Alan also wants to build a blimp museum and a blimp theme restaurant. On the menu, we're going to have Hindenburgers with relish. And of course, there'd be a blimp gift shop. Among the items Alan already owns, a blimp clock, blimp playing cards, a blimp salt and pepper shaker, even a blimp aftershave bottle put out in the 70s by Avon. And if his blimp port never flowers, Alan will continue to have an obsession for blimps. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York. I don't know if I'd like to have Ginny walking around smelling like a blimp. <laughs> I'll join you on that one.